Today we are doing our long-awaited Fashion Trends 2016 video. Yay! And we have an exciting collaborator, Ariana. Hi, I'm Ariana Lauren, and my blog is fashionborn.com. I'm a local fashion blogger in San Francisco, and today I'm putting together looks for 2016 trends. First of all, Pantone just came out with their color of the year. Col colors. Colors. And they are what Corinne is wearing. I'm featuring rose quartz and serenity. That's right. So Pento also released a statement saying that the colors of year, colors of the year, are dependent on or are related to the gender duality. That is a trend that's going on right now. Mm -hmm. And um, and I guess that you can kind of say that baby blue stands for the boy baby and rose yeah, gold yes. stands for the if girl baby. If we want to be, you know, socially, I, I know we're mothers, so <laughs> that's all top of mind for us. <laughs> Yeah, so along with those lines, we're going to talk about one of our trends that we're forecasting, which is androgyny. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner and uh, celebrities like Ruby Rose have really highlighted, uh, along with their personal philosophy, the definition of uh, what it is being a man and what it is being a woman. I think it's really just the philosophical and social expectation of what it means to be a man versus a woman has shifted a lot and mm. it's, the line has blurred um, as a result the um, visual representation of your daily outfit mm -hmm. has also blurred that you there's not no such thing as oh that outfit is for a man and that outfit is for a woman mm -hmm. because what defines a man what defines a woman so androgyny is a big trend um, and you're seeing sort of the cut of blazers for women being um, not so much cinched at the waist but a little longer a little more straight? A little bit more straight, like you'll see that with Rock and Bone Theory blazers um, and even pants. They are a little shorter so you can show off your socks, more mm -hmm. like any Hall look. Um, so that's also a little bit more androgyny. Another trend we're seeing is streetwear. It probably suits a certain type of personality. Um, start, and that's been making a big rise quite a bit in the last two to three years. Yeah, um, so it's just extending onwards to next yeah. year. Yeah, so streetwear is, I think, made popular by hip-hop artists traditionally. Yeah. Because it's easy to move around. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, and you kind of feel energy wearing them, and so... It's that, sort of an extension from this year. I mean, this year it sort of was emerging, but it's going to continue on to 2016. Yeah, as you see, like, Korean designers like Kai, featuring mm -hmm. that on their runway, uh, paired with sneakers. That's sort of the definition, uh, the defining right. streetwear. Uh, a lot of black and white. Lots of black and white, a lot of loose clothing, sneakers, uh, cool sneakers with some bling. Yep. Yeah, that, that streetwear. And I, I'm also seeing that people are transforming streetwear into somewhat work appropriate wear as well, meaning um, blazers and maybe shirts that look like it could be streetwear. You know, white too. shirts redone. Yeah, white shirts redone, blazers redone. Um, you know, the, the double fitted, double breasted blazer. So we're seeing more white shirts with like straight lines and like yeah. long fit to with that goes along with the androgynous look. Yeah, along with just even the rise of boyfriend jeans and boyfriend shirts, mm -hmm. that's, that's sort of defining mm -hmm. the androgyny. Another trend we're seeing is romanticism going back to Pantone. The concept of romanticism actually came from the 19th century uh, and you think Jane Austen, think turn of the century where women are wearing lace, they're wearing corset, and Spanish influence is also big now. Mm -hmm. And um, historically, rom romantic era is really about heightening your emotions, highlighting the moment, whether you're feeling love, whether you're feeling yearning, whether you're feeling right. anger. Accentuating um, the senses. Exactly, you're slowing your pace. And so that also partnered with the end of um, the French Revolution and Industrial Revolution making lace a lot more available. So it's really put more thought on imagination, the moment, sort of uh, the focal point of the visual representation of things. And the other um, trend that is usually associated with romantic uh, looks is, is the incorporation of nature because um, the concept of romanticism is usually focused on the self. So the person is usually alone, imagine Jane Austen walking alone. So that seems to be highlighted a lot in terms of uh, the romantic trend and that expressed into clothing is more delicate material, 
now machine washable which is something i'm not going to wear <laughs> and uh off the shoulder off the shoulder to the, accentuate like neckline the neckline and the 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 sensuality erogenous zones of your neck yes wow you just made it sound so romantic <laughs> and the uh sleeves bigger sleeves bigger also sleeves. spanish puffy sleeves so spanish is really going to be yeah part of the whole romanticism yeah, and we also saw Michael Kors um, Proenza Schuler having that on the runway as well. And that's also highlighting some of the romanticism trend that we're seeing. So 70s will continue to be a trend in 2016. Um, and I think that's also in some ways related to the romantic trend. It's the freedom of expression mm -hmm. in your deep statement. <laughs> 70s has a huge influence in San Francisco specifically because a lot of people associate that with the hippie movement which started in Hayden-Ashbury here in San Francisco. With 70s, um, you know, people are really embracing some bold colors. Also the shapes uh, with bell bottoms, mm -hmm. bell sleeves. Flare. Flare. Denim on denim. Denim on denim. Uh, showing a little bit of waist. Mm. If you didn't eat too much during things. <laughs> I, I did. That's why it's 2016, not yeah, 20, no. spring 2016. I'll pull off a look. And um, yeah, so 70s will continue to be a trend, and we're seeing some of that on the runway as well. So that sums up our trends video of 2016. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up, and let us know which fashion trend you resonate the most with. And we can't way to hear from you. I and also want to know what you think of Helen's hair. Okay. So feel free to write those in the comments too. That too. <laughs> we look forward to conversing with you in the comments and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.